Hey, what's up, gang? Are you looking for a solution to carrying around pounds and pounds and pounds of hand tools, especially electrical hand tools? Well, today we have your solution. A lot of new backpack offerings from different companies have been hitting the market. But if you're an electrician or you have a large amount of electrical hand tools, I think the best solution for a backpack would be to get this Klein backpack. It's been thoughtfully made to accommodate all types of electrical hand tools, multiple pouches. Uh, hey, why don't we just get it open? They have a, a compartment here, a, a very hard compartment here at the top. Would allow for you to carry your eye protection in there. Would keep your glasses from getting crushed. I have my eye protection on my head and I keep them in the visor of my truck. So what rides in this container? Let's see. We have a head, little headlamp. It's seen better days. Could use some new batteries. Haven't used this one in a while. The headlamps that I use also ride on my visor. Okay, we have replacement blades for our roto split. We have a multi bit. We have a reamer, EMT reamer. Ooh, look at this. 3 H drive. Got this crazy little screwdriver. Got some zip ties. Maybe it's time for me to clean this bag out. On the side of the pouch, we have two little pockets here. Great for tick tester. If you have multiple, that's what we put in there. A little loop here. It's good for your electrical tape. In this lower pouch. And the good part about this bag is the zippers are really heavy duty. You know, this bag is, is, is jam packed. Full. I mean, this bag has got to be four years old. There's a little issue here, but quite frankly, I wouldn't hold it against the bag. I would pretty much say it's rough use. Okay, so we have a whole hosh posh of things in here. We got some extra electrical tape. This is like the spare parts container. We have an EMT cut. We have a little stubby screwdriver, husky. Another little stubby screwdriver, husky. Whoa, got some spare breakers in here. Got some outlets. Look at this, old polarized. We got some connectors. Basically, it's like the emergency pouch. If you have to run into a job real quick and make a quick repair, it's your emergency supplies right in here. Boy, vinyl electrical tape. This way, you could designate neutral. All right, let's get this bag open. Nice thing about this bag is the zippers open all the way down and out. It allows you to open the bag fully so you can get into it. What's right in here in the middle? Oh, we got the Cable Boss non-metallic stapler. We've got a Klein 50-foot steel fish tape. Look at that. We have the Klein Metal clad cutter. We have one of my favorite jab saws, the Lennox. It's time to replace this blade. Good part is, is that this handle lets you do it. All you gotta do is unscrew this here, boom, pop the blade off, put a new one on. Great. We have our ideal multimeter. Then we have some flat screwdrivers here in this pouch. I don't know why they're there right this second. We're gonna reorganize this when we're done the video. Another flat. And then we have the big boy. We have our data clippers. Terminating uh, data connections. Man, we got it. We got everything in here. Strippers, crimpers, old set of Klein. Wire cutters. Woo! Got a little rust here. I have to clean that up. 
We have a hand reamer for EMT. Conduit from Klein. We have our ideal punch down tool. Of course, it should have a little protector on it to keep to keep this edge sharp, but I don't know where that went. Just saying. We got a little set of sockets. Maybe that's what that 3 8 inch drive was for. Wow. Cool. I can't even get them out of there. They're really in there secure. Hashtag just saying. Come on this side, a newer set of Klein wire cutters. We have this green six in one screwdriver. The good part is, is that it's not orange. Why? Because somebody won't grab it out of my bag and go, oh, this is mine. Ah, mine's green. Yours is orange, buddy. Leave my screwdriver alone. Set of Klein Lyman pliers. Another Klein Phillips head screwdriver. These all came in a set. These are, these are Ohio something. They're a product of China. I gotta tell, them, I'll tell you though, they, they've come in handy over the years. Small Klein needle nose. We do have some Husky brand screwdrivers in here. I don't know why the, I'm gonna tell you what happened. It's the reality. I haven't really gotten it into this bag lately. It's been sitting in the back of my truck and my topper let water in. The bag got moist and I'm having some rusting here. I gotta tell you, not cool. I'm gonna have to clean these tools up. But these have been around a long time. I just keep them. Just an assortment of screwdrivers, climb wire strippers. This set's missing its spring, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's not a bad tool still, so I hold on to it. We have a new set of climb side cutters. The good part is, is it has a crimper built into it for things like steak ons I like them. And then we have an assortment of little baby jewelers screwdrivers. Now that we have all these tools out of here, now I can reorganize this thing. But here's the thing. All these compartments, and this bag, this bag is literally got to be four or five years old. You can see there's no, no ripping in the pouches, no punctures, okay? We're having a little bit of a hiccup with one of the zippers, but I don't think that's the fault of the bag. I think it's the fault of exceeding the, the, the recommended capacity for the bag. I think this bag was stuffed a little full, but you can see it's thoughtfully laid out for an enormous amount of electrical tools. Plenty of pouches, plenty of ways to organize your hand tools. One of the best parts about this storage bag is, is that it's a backpack. You have to roll it into your job, you throw it right over your shoulder, okay? If it's really hefty, you can throw both arms through, Boom, you're on your way. Then you got two free hands. You can push a cart if need be, grab organizers with your parts or accessories, and you're able to go to work. I gotta tell you, I love this backpack. So, for four or five years old, this thing has served me well. You have a small amount of ripping. I gotta tell you, I think it would serve you well as well. If you're interested, go check this thing out. I actually bought mine at Billow's Electrical Supply House. I don't know if they're selling these at your local big box. If you're not finding it at that big box, you wanna check out maybe your specialty electrical supply house. With that, I wanna say, I hope you enjoyed this video, taking a little deep dive into my backpack for some of my electrical tools. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave your comments below. What rides inside your climb backpack? Do you own this thing? How do you like it? I mean, mine's five years old. Have they changed how they're making it? Have they updated it? Is build quality not as good as it used to be? Is it even better now? We wanna know. Let us know down in the comments section below. I want everybody to have a great day and we'll see you later.
Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.